Getting Started 5. Report Statistics and Graphs. In this video we will be accessing statistical measures and graphs from the at-risk results cells. In previous sessions, we delved into the results of a simulation. Utilizing the Browse Result button allows us to visualize results and obtain statistical measures for both at-risk inputs and outputs. Simulation result functions allow us to input these values directly into the spreadsheet. These functions are dynamic, ensuring that rerunning a simulation will update their values with the latest data. To insert a function, select the cell and navigate to function, simulation result in the at-risk ribbon to choose the desired statistic. For example, to display the mean value of the profit, select the location, then navigate in the at-risk ribbon to function, simulation result and select risk mean. Enter the necessary parameters, in this case, the data source will be the cell containing the at-risk output for profit. For now, leave the sim number parameter blank, as we are not dealing with multiple simulations in this example. Note that you can also type the function directly into the cell, like any other Excel function. Commonly used functions include the risk percentile and risk target functions. The risk percentile function returns the value of an at-risk output at a given percentile. Leverage Excel's relative and absolute references to simplify copying and even integrate functions into more complex expressions. You can view the example in the interquartile range calculation. The risk target function calculates the probability that the data source is less than the specified target value. These functions can serve as arguments in other functions. In this example, we determine the probability that revenue will exceed the mean cost. You can cross-check these values with the statistics of the at-risk output using the result browser window. Compare the mean profit, P5, and P95 from the statistics grid, while the IQR can be derived from the diff-x value once the delimiters are set at the 25th and 75th percentiles. At-risk functions can also automate the generation of simulation graphs after the simulation is completed. To create a graph, select a cell to hold the function and in the at-risk ribbon navigate to function, miscellaneous, risk results graph. Choose the at-risk output or input you want to use as your data source. You can indicate the location of the graph in the parameter default range to indicate the size of the chart. There are various graph types to choose from, refer to the online help for a detailed list. Utilize the help on this function link for a quick access to the help site. For this demonstration, we will configure the graph to generate a relative frequency histogram of the profit variable by entering 13 as the type. The title used in the chart defaults to the name of the variable. However, we can enter a different title in the parameters. The chart will be generated when the simulation completes. We will create a second risk result graph to display the regression coefficient tornado chart of the profit variable.
Now, we click the simulate button to run a new simulation. Notice the charts are generated automatically upon completion. We encourage you to take some time to explore the software's capabilities.